start over here with Heinz. We got the consensus number one. A pretty good running back here. Great receiver. Right here. Maybe a stretch. We'll see how he does. He's the only guy there, so that could be a good pick. But his next receiver, he waits until round seven. And his quarterback is Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer? Carson Palmer? Carson Palmer? Not good. Uh, I would say overall, receiving core is going to be tough. Quarterback is going to be a big issue, but running backs are pretty solid. So, I'm giving you a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fritch. Fritch, great running back. And then great receivers here. This guy's a question mark. This guy's going to have a great year. And then he, he he was trying to recover for the running back, the second running back. So he's like, ah, I better just take whatever's left, and these are garbage. <laughs> and then and then he's like, oh crap, all the tight ends are gone. I better take one. And this guy, he's he's on a terrible team. And then we got more more running back garbage, and then a receiver who's no good. So your draft looked real good up to here, and then the depth is gone. You got nothing. Hopefully the Saints are a good defense. That's your only saving grace. <laughs> So I'm going to go thumbs down on oh, Fritch. Okay. All right. We got Molina. Molina looked real good after picks one and two. And then I was debating on what's the worst pick of the draft. I was, I was thinking, which one is it? Is it Beanie Wells or is it Felix Jones? I don't know. They're terrible. This guy is the third string running back there. No. They share carries, three guys. And this guy, he's second string. How are you drafting them in the third and the fourth round? That's craziness. Dwayne Bowe is underperformer. Mike Wallace hasn't proven himself. Matt Ryan is never going to throw the ball because they run it 90% of the time. Devin Hester's a good pick here. Winslow's a pretty good pick there. But these two picks are going to kill you, dude. You can't go with second string running backs in the third and fourth round. So, overall, it's got to be a thumbs down. Your late picks, however, you got some good late picks. Vince Young's a good second string quarterback. Braylon Edwards is a great pick here. Tony Scheffler is going to be a, a sleeper tight end if you're going to need it. All right. My team, I love my team. This is the best team on the league by far. Look at all these great Look at all these great picks. Maurice Jones Drew, he's knees fine. Roddy White, best receiver in uh, on Atlanta. Yeah. Tom Brady is going to have another breakout year, contract year. Antonio Gates, best tight end. Ronnie Brown, a great running back, capable of putting up big numbers. Whoa, what? that's a stretch. That's a stretch. That's your number two. All right, all right. So here's the problem with, with, with him. He'll be good for four weeks, and then he gets hurt, and then I'm in trouble. So I might have some trouble there. Jeremy Macklin is my second receiver. That's that's bad news. <laughs> Hold on. You just said you loved your team. I love this team, but this is my second receiver. My my backup running backs, I like them. Both both veterans, both going to get carries. And then my receiving core, my, my backup receiving core, I love this. Number one, formerly number one. He's got a new guy there. He's he's probably number two. Hushman Zad is washed up. Mary Mason will still produce. Sidney Rice is hurt, but when he comes back, he's a legitimate number one. If he's got a hit, if if he can run, who knows? He might have to waddle out there. Fred Taylor, he's these are just garbage picks down here. I didn't know what to do. So, but overall, I think I got a pretty solid team. So I'm, I'm gonna give myself a thumbs up. Great team. You said a great. I've got a great team, Curtis. <laughs> thumbs up. All right, let's go with Rowe. Frank Gore is gonna probably have a better year than Maurice Jones Drew. Cedric Benson, pretty good run back there, but I don't know. I don't think I would have taken him there. Deshaun Jackson had the best receiving year last year, but will he do it again? I don't know. Romo, decent. Finley, decent. I think Rose got a pretty decent lineup up and down. Started to struggle with receivers, though. He's, he's going for a second receiver. He's got Breston, Varian, and Knox. All questions. And then uh, he comes down. Bears defense is going to put up 40 points a game, so that's going to be losing points every week. And uh, Vincent Jackson's a real good pick here. Overall, I 
I'd say he's probably going to end up with a thumbs down season just because of the receivers. He gives all a big thumbs down. Awesome. Awesome season. Yes. That means you're not going to All right. I can't imagine. Yeah, because it's always backwards, so I'm going to be last place. I'm going to lose the toilet bowl. All right. Manson. All right. Turner is a great running back. Sean Green is a little bit of a stretch there, but he could pick up a lot of the carries. Then we got Colston and Ocho Cinco. Colston's good, number one. Ocho Cinco, not so much. Vernon Davis is a big stretch right here. Big stretch. Because they run the ball so much, they're not going to have to pass it. And then we got Hines Ward, who doesn't have a quarterback for four weeks, at least. Jay Cutler, who's on the Bears. <laughs> not good. By the way, your backup is on Kansas City. <laughs> All right, and we got a couple decent backup running backs, backup receivers. I like this pick here, and uh, that's about it. And then backup tight ends, for, that's probably a really good pick right there, Carlson. But that team is awful also. So your, your, your whole theme is I'm going to draft a bunch of guys from really bad teams. So that's usually a thumbs-down recipe for fantasy football. I'm okay with that. I think it's the only thumbs-up for you. I know. It makes sense. <laughs> All right, Agaritas, Andre Johnson and Calvin Johnson, arguably the top two receivers. Jamal Charles had a big end of the year. He could be one of the top five running backs, so he could be a good pick. Steve Smith, another top five receiver. So receiving core. This is the Carolina one. He had a lot of he had a lot of like good passing at the end of the year with Matt Moore. So that could be a really good combination. C.J. Spiller's a starter for a bad team, but he's a starter. So, for a second running back, this is a pretty good value right here. LT, I think, is going to steal a lot of carries from Sean Green. Cadillac Williams is a starter in Tampa Bay until he breaks his leg. And Mike Williams is a, is a sleeper here. The only problem, I like all these picks. The only problem is you waited on quarterback. We'll see if this gamble turns out. I think it will. I think he's going to have a big year. This is a, a good, like, backup pick. And then Favre as a backup for Cole, that's, that's a pretty good pick there, too. So, overall, Besides, besides your tight end, I think you got a really good team. So I'm giving you a thumbs up. Who cares about the team? He, he, he drafted two defensive teams. Why did you do that? I don't know. They played St. Louis in the first two weeks. This is the same. So which one are you going to choose? you got to make a choice on defense? Who wants to do that? Hey, week three, don't worry about it. Okay. So here we go, ye. Here we go, ye. All right. He wants a thumbs down. We got Steven Jackson, who's washed up and on a bad team. Reggie Wayne, who's washed up but on a good team. Joseph Adai, who's washed up but still on that same good team. And he's going to be losing a lot of carries to Donald Brown because what do you do with your second round pick in year two? You start feeding him the ball. He's losing carries. Phillip Rivers will have a pretty good year. Wes Welker is a real steal right here, I thought. So first five picks, you're doing okay. These two guys will be average producers, kind of overdrafted here. But the rest of these first five pretty good. Crabtree is unproven and his team hates him. And they run the ball a lot. So I don't know about that one. Driver's a good pick. You always have him. And then we got Jets defense. And then no other defense goes until like down here somewhere. So a little stretch on the Jets defense. But, but they're a good defense. Cooley is your receiver or, or your tight end. That'll be okay with McNabb. So overall, I'm saying you're probably an iffy. Not quite the thumbs down that you were hoping for, but you're an iffy. Alright. He, he got one of these. Alright. Peterson, Aaron Rodgers starts the quarterback run. That's the best quarterback. Randy Moss, probably the best or second best receiver. LaShawn McCoy, one of, of a very good receiving running back. Job at best has the starting job. Reggie Bush is a decent backup. Sims Walker is a pretty good receiver here. Tony Gonzalez is a good tight end, but he's starting to fall off. And then you got some crappy picks after that. But, <laughs> but your fantasy football team is really your top six or seven picks. If you have a good top or six or seven, you're going to be good. And then your, your backups, this guy's third string, by the way. This guy's got a broken leg. This guy's team is falling apart. This guy is third string. You got the Steelers defense and a couple of backup guys. So overall, it, it's all based on the top seven. Thumbs up on the top seven. Ooh. All right. You're done. <laughs> yeah. But if you have any injuries here, you're fucked. Okay. Havis, Drew Brees, Ryan Matthews, Steve Smith Giants, all good picks. Matt Forte, 
awful. Brent Selleck here, not good. Could have picked him down here probably. Ahmad Bradshaw, he's the starter for New York, so he'll be good. Des Bryant here, that's your second receiver. He's like fourth on the depth charts. Are you serious? Then Darren McFadden, he's got a love affair with Darren McFadden somehow. And, uh, and that team is not going to be able to run the ball or do anything on offense. Legadu Nane, I hated him for this pick. This is my favorite guy in the league. This guy is going to be awesome. So he's going to end up starting over Des Bryant. So that kind of negates the Des Bryant pick. Roethlisberger is the backup quarterback. That's a good one. Niners defense is a good defense. And then he's got some backups here. Overall, if it weren't for the, uh, if it weren't for the uh, receivers here, I'd give him uh, probably a thumbs up. But I'd say he's probably an iffy right now. A little bit of an iffy. Especially with, with Forte, Selleck, and Des Bryant in these top few picks. He, those are None of those guys are solid. All right, Wilson. Why did you take a quarterback? It doesn't make sense. You got all these good running backs, and you, you, you said it yourself. Manning will be good, but if you get to the playoffs, he's going to kill you because he's going to be on the bench. And then who do you got to start? Oh, nobody. You don't even have a backup. All right, Ryan Grant, he'll have a decent year with Green Bay because they're going to have a high-powered offense. Jonathan Stewart's number two, but he kind of plays like a number one, but it's kind of a low-level number one. Not a good number two running back. Then you go, instead of getting a receiver or another running back, you go with the best tight end. So he'll put up big numbers. You don't have to worry about him all year. But then your receivers, Harvin should have a big year. Garcon should have a big year. These two guys are kind of steals right here because you didn't draft one for the first five rounds. So that's kind of a lucky lucky draw right there. Michael Bush has a broken thumb, but he'll be playing later on, so that'll be good. He's he's uh, on a running team, and he's sitting out a few games, so he's not going to play. This guy's starting with a new team, and who knows what he's going to do. So those two guys, not so sure about that. You're going to have to rely on these two as your receivers and put uh, Michael Bush in after the fourth week. I don't know who your flex is going to be for four weeks, which is kind of unnerving. Matt Huggins, he's, he's a sleeper. He's uh, a little bit early right here, but that's all right. If you have to draw him in over here, it's kind of bad news usually, but we'll see with that one. Packers have a good defense. Muhammad Masakoy is the number one, but he's on an awful team. Awful. This guy will never play for your team. You'll probably cut him by three weeks. And then we got Greg Olson as your backup tight end. Not bad there. And then you got a couple other just throw-in picks. Overall, I would say if these two guys go off, you could have a thumbs up. If not, you're gonna have a mediocre here. But you know what? You'll 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 be able, you'll be okay with Manning here, even though you got stuck with Grant. Grant. I think you would have rather had Mendenhall and just seen if he had gotten around and maybe get a shove over here or something. But we'll see. All right, and then Lambros. Lambros did a good job with his first two picks. Running back, running back. His third pick and fourth pick, pretty good. I think Baltimore is going to have to share the ball a lot, though. So I think, unfortunately, for this pick, that's your number one wide receiver. He's not going to get as many catches as you think he would, especially with Hushman Zada there now. And, and uh, Ray Rice is the big back. And then they got Mason there, who's always been there and has good rapport with the quarterback. So he's going to have lower numbers than you would think. Marion Barber is on Dallas. You don't want a Dallas running back. There's too many of them. And then you got Terrell Owens, who's a head case. And he's on his third team in three years. That's a problem. And that's your number two receiver. Not good. Plus, Justin Forsett's a starter, sort of, but he's on Seattle, which is almost worse than the Bears. I don't know. It could be. Shanko's a good tight end. And then we went on a receiver kick because you realized, oh, crap, my starting receivers are T.O. and Anquan Bolden. So you go with the sleeper Jacoby Jones. Who knows what he'll do? He has a lot of yards per catch, but doesn't catch many balls. Not really. And then Chris Chambers oh. is the worst guy to have on your team. <laughs> Austin Collie's not bad here. Julian Edelman I really like, especially when Wes Welker gets hurt. That's too bad for you. And then we got Chad Henning as a backup. Not bad. Shockey is a backup. And then you got whatever. So overall, your running backs are real good here. Good quarterback. But then after that, it kind of drops off and your depth is real bad, especially at receiver because these are your top two guys. So I'm going to have to give you a, uh, a three-quarter thumbs down. <laughs> Not quite here, but you're, you're down here. All right. So overall, obviously. Let's hear the champion. Obviously. Who's in the championship? Who's, 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 obviously, it's going to be Agaritas versus me. And then uh, we'll have Brady and Gates just go off and I win the championship. Who's in the Super Bowl? So.
In the loser bowl, let's see. It's got to be Molina in the loser bowl. With these two right here. Last time you picked me, I was in the championship. All right, we'll see. Let's go. The Molina who? Molina's he he doesn't even need a competition. He's gonna have it all by himself. So get ready for another free round on Molina next year. <laughs>